James, just kind of take us through a, a primer on entity compliance. I think this is the thing that people don't even think is, right? Uh, yeah. I, I, we talk on the show weekly about HR compliance and payroll tax compliance. What the heck do you mean by entity compliance? Yeah, and it's important to understand that when you're hiring out of state and you, you, you think the word payroll, that there's a couple of steps involved, right? It's, it's not just, oh, I need a withholding account. I'm going to jump in, go. There, there's a few steps involved. So a huge part of uh, you know, what we'll talk about today and what I discuss elsewhere with my clients uh, is the multiple steps and how do you not only take those in stride, but develop the internal resources and strategies to be able to do that, to be able to hire, meet your objectives. So the very first thing to your point that comes up is this idea of business entity compliance. So it's a step removed from payroll tax, you know, registration, but it's important to have this fundamental understanding. So when we're talking about the business entity, this is simply your LLC, this is your corporation, however you've structured your business. Um, and that, that is really the building block. Um, and the first step to registering in any state is typically registration of that entity. So if you're an entrepreneur, maybe you filed articles of incorporation to create your company in, in Delaware. Amazing. You're hiring in other states. A lot of times having an employee, having a physical presence of some kind is enough to require the registration of that legal entity first. So now you have your Delaware Corporation now, it's also registered with the Secretary of State of California or Colorado or New York, all of these different places. So before we even talk yeah. about tax, you have this first level of going through applications with governments, fees, ongoing requirements. 